Good morning guys, Andrew here, Firefighter Detecting. Welcome, and if you're new, I hope to gain your subscription today. All right, uh, today we're going back over to the farm. I was given another chance to come over and detect, so we'll be looking around the houses and the barns over there. So let's head over and see what we can find. So two cranes have been hanging out in this field recently. Figured they'd show up sooner or later. Just wanted to share that with you. Pretty cool. All right, guys, we're starting our day out here. Seeing what we can find on this farm field, grassy house area. It's about 9.30 in the morning on April 11th, I think it's 11th. I don't have my clock or watch with me right now. But I guess date doesn't really matter. All right, good signal, 7982. Let's see what we can find. Pinpoint it here real quick. About four inches down. Come back when I got it out of. You no, know, no one ever said it was going to be easy. Aluminum can. Out of the next target. All right, guys, I'm getting a good signal. It's solid 83 back and forth. Uh, I'm guessing that might be a penny, but let's dig it up and find out. Now that ended up being more aluminum can. I didn't show it. On to the next target. So well, there's an unusual target. That was bounced between a 36 and a 70. Bent up old staple nail. Uh, on to the next one. Well, we're getting close to the old stuff. Nice uh, square head nail. Getting older. Hopefully find some better. Alright. First coin of the day. Very broken up, corroded. Modern day Lincoln Memorial Penny. On to the next one. Alright, finally on the board. 1953 Wheat Penny. I don't know if you can see that, but I'll get a better image here shortly. On to the next one. Alright, that's a cool relic. Uh, some sort of old thermometer device, I'm guessing. Right there, it says Bell City Incubator, Racine, Wisconsin. On to the next one. Pretty cool relic. Alright guys, another modern day Lincoln penny. Just wanted to share with you. Alright, on to the next one. Alright guys, it's been about an hour since I had any real decent signal other than the woman uh, can saw. I just pulled this out of the ground about four inches down. Garden nozzle. On to the next one. Alright guys. 1985 dime. Three inches down. On to the next one. Never expected to find one of these. 1976 Canadian quarter. Decent shape. On to the next one. Well, I think my GoPro ran out of battery. I don't have a spare one for it. So we're back to the phone. I uh, just dug this out of the ground. Some sort of metal fitting. I haven't seen any uh, markings or words stamped on it yet, but maybe we'll clean it up later and figure out what, or if, if there are any on this thing. If you know what this is for or what it was, comment down below. Thank you. One more penny for the books. 1967. Lincoln Memorial. On to the next one. Alright, guys. And I want to call it a day. I've been out here for like four hours. Not too many decent targets. The couple pennies, dime, Canadian quarter. Everything else is aluminum can or junk, metal. I'll head back and do my recap shortly. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Alright, everyone, here is a recap for you. Never mind the toothbrushes, those are just tools I use. The four decent targets of the day the dime. The modern day penny, the weed penny, and the Canadian quarter. The really junky, crispy Lincoln Memorial penny right there. And now we get on to our wonderful things that everyone finds that no one likes to find. But here it is. Aluminum cans, part of a grill, whatever this is, I don't know. Some sort of 
whatever that is. I don't know. It's a metal ring, the one square nail, the other nail staple thing, wonderful garden nozzle, this piece of metal, the old window lock, and that's it. So, bad targets, good targets. Yay for today. It was obviously a good day. I got all this out of the ground for them. I'm sure they're appreciative. And on to the next one. See you next time. Hope you subscribe.